Now, Governor Kayode Fayemi of Ikiti State recently marked his third year in office with a series of events. Take it. A few weeks ago, Ikiti State was the center of attention, playing host to dignitaries from far and wide who traveled to the southwestern state to celebrate with the governor, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, who is marking his third year in office. Activities ranging from project commissioning, an investment summit, colloquium, dinner and thanksgiving service were all mapped out to celebrate his year of consolidation. The Vice President, Professor Yemio Shibaju, is here to kick-start activities with the commissioning of this newly built Civic and Convention Center. The Civic Center, which is located at the Faju area of the state capital, houses a museum, art gallery, shopping mall, cinema, public library, conference and event center, office space, among other facilities. After its official commissioning, the new edifice hosts its first event, which was also attended by some governors. came into office three years ago to comment our second time. We made a promise anchored on restoring our land and reclaiming our values. Three years later, much progress has been made, but our work is not yet done. The Vice President commends these initiatives and programs of the Akita State Government. Whose academic and civil society background, and will leave out the outlawed days of that. <laughs> <laughs> his excellent relationships with international donors and DFIs, his experience as a second term governor, and also a one time minister of Mines and Steel, and as chair of the Governors Forum, where he has, where he has, where he has very important experience in extracting benefits. <laughs> Governor Fayemi's administration prides itself as being at the forefront of women empowerment and protection, which was what this colloquium is centered on. Is a wife, a mother, a grandmother, a hard working, enterprising, God fearing woman, a woman who adds value to her community. After all the activities of the last few days, it's time to unwind with this black tie dinner. The colorful anniversary dinner is graced by Ikiti Indigens and the government also extended an invitation to their sons and daughters resident outside the state who have made Ikiti proud with giant strides in their fields of endeavor. One of them is filmmaker 
Kemi Adetiba. But I am really delighted that the Honorable Attorney General was able to get Kemi to come to Ekiti for the first time. We had a virtual diaspora day as part of this third anniversary and we had a number of our diaspora citizens who engaged with me, with the wife of governor and with a number of our state executive council members and we were able to share with them what we're doing in the state. They shared with us what they would like to see happen in their state, even though they're not residents here, they still think daily about what is going on in AKT. This is Kemi Adetiba's first ever visit to her fatherland. From what I have seen since I came, I am doubly proud to have come from a place determined to keep its culture for generations unborn. The most important feature that distinguishes us as a people is our culture and our tradition. An award presentation to some staff members and a toast. The governor and his special guests then step forward to cut the anniversary cake conducted by the wife of the governor. After which the dance floor is freed up for the fun to begin. To thank God for the success of the celebration, a special thanksgiving service is held at the St. Patrick's Cathedral Catholic Church, Adwekiti. The color of the day, yellow, brightens up the auditorium as the service begins. At the service conducted by the Catholic Bishop of Ekiti Diocese, Most Reverend Felix Ajakaye, the congregation joined the governor, his wife, and members of his exco in a thanksgiving dance to God. I'm very grateful to God Almighty for the journey so far. I'm grateful to God for his grace and his mercy over my husband and our family and the good people of Ekiti State. We give glory to God for how far he has helped the administration and how far he has helped the government of Kalifai Emi in actualizing the vision that he has for the state in terms of transformation. Governor Kaude Fayemi was sworn in in October 2018 and for his second term, which ends next year. Governor Fayemi, who is the chairman of the Nigeria Governors Forum, says he will continue to work until his last day in office. Mm -hmm.